What I want to know is how did Monty Python, remember we showed that sketch from the kids in the hall from 1996 Mm -hmm. and they were calling out all the woke culture and how crazy it is. Well, how did, how did, how did Monty Python know this? Yeah, I think Judith's point of view is very valid, Rich. Provided the movement never forgets that it is the unalienable right of every man or woman or woman to rid himself or herself or herself. Agreed. Thank you, brother. Or sister. Or sister. (laughs) Where was I? I think you finished. Oh, right. (laughs) Furthermore, it is the birthright of every man or woman. Why don't you shut up about women, Stan? You're putting us off. (laughs) Women have a perfect right to play a part in our movement, Reg. Why are you always on about women, Stan? I want to be one. What? I want to be a woman. From now on, I want you all to call me Loretta. What? It's my right as a man. But why do you want to be Loretta, Stan? I want to have babies. You want to have babies? (laughs) It's every man's right to have babies if he wants them. But you can't have babies. Don't you oppress me. I'm not oppressing you, Stan. You haven't got a womb. Where's the fetus going to just take? You're going to keep it in a box? <laughs> Here, I've got an idea. Suppose you agree that he can't actually have babies, not having a womb, which is nobody's fault, not even the Romans, but that he can have the right to have babies. Good idea, Judith. We shall fight the oppressors for your right to have babies, brother. Sister, sorry. What's the point? <laughs> what? What's the point of fighting for his right to have babies when he can't have babies? It is symbolic of our struggle against oppression. Symbolic of his struggle against reality. How did they know? Because all all the stuff was in probably, uh, they're all Oxford kind of smart as kids, right? So all this was in academia for many years, you know? Queer I mean, theory and all that kind of like all the theories, all the crit theory stuff, they probably were very experienced with it. It's been around for a long time. I mean, when was this movie? 80s. 80s, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that that this was is, that is unbelievable. That's how long it took for it to trickle out of academia into And now the, it's in yeah. the mainstream. Yeah. That movie's from 79? Yeah, there's there was a bunch of stuff back I'm telling you, that's because those are they're educated. They're like Oxford people. How did? Oh, that is amazing. I'm blown away by it. <laughs> the whole movie, I was telling you, is great. You got to see the stoning scene. That really, I thought you were going to show that. That really calls it. Don't say Jehovah. Oh, the stoning. I did. I saw yeah. that too. I'll show that. I should show that now. I'll show it next. I'll get it. We'll show it Friday. Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, December 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th, and we're going to be in Tempe. Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you there.